All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all honor, glory, and praises to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rekar Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Peace and salutations and blessings to the hopefully elect. All right. Uh, it's the brother Azariah here. And uh, I just wanted to do a follow up. And on top of that, a lamb backing uh, to this brother's video here. It was a repost uh, from GMS Enduring Branch that the brother Manata Zagba, street teacher, SCO4, uh, posted on this channel. And I uh, just reminded the brother was going into uh, some of the things that I had uh, uh, touched on in a video that I made. And uh, he was going once again into the importance of not eating and drinking of the Passover uh, uh, unworthily. Um, but also um, through the studies that I was doing into this particular topic, I saw another perspective of this, you know, which just uh, further edifies and lambacks as well. You know, not only during this time should we um, be uh, uh, fearful and and walk um on eggshells, so to speak, you know, not only during this time should we be fearful of even eating and drinking unworthily, but at all times while we are uh, uh, partaking of this faith, which is likened unto a meal, milk, honey, meat, you know, a uh, 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 water, bread, not only during the time of the Pesach should we be eating and drinking with fear, but at all times during partaking of this particular knowledge should we be eating and drinking with fear of the most high now of course there is a boldness that comes with preaching the gospel but there is also checks and balances put into place to knock us back down to keep us humble and we should be mindful of our own downfalls and and, and thusly we should stay humble you know so i just want to get a couple of precepts just to back up what i'm saying that, that this eating and drinking unworthily which is speaking of in uh corinthians 11 is 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 talking about the passover but it's also talking about uh of uh, uh, being a part of this knowledge in general you know uh first corinthians uh 11 and uh 23 for i have received of the lord that which also i delivered unto you which is the you know of course the knowledge and understanding that the lord yahweh shai the same night in which he was betrayed took bread so the same night that Yahweh Shai was to betray was the same night he had to pass over. Now we know what happened later on that night. Uh, Judas, uh, 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 re Judas re revealed himself to be uh, um, a, a betrayer of the Messiah, you know, and his his, his, um, his true intent came out like the brother was going into in this particular video. Um, some he was he was talking about a situation where this guy that was among them who was eating and drinking unworthily was exposed around the Pasak. You know, he exposed himself and it was and it was recorded that he was talking crap about the brothers, you know. And um likewise during the night of the Pasak of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, uh Judas revealed himself to be a demon and, and he was revealed and he also uh, killed himself. In regret of the decision that he ended up making, which of course, through the Spirit, the Most High put it upon him to be the the, the betrayer of the Messiah. But anyway, without further ado, I'm gonna get into this. Like I said, Lord, will this is edifying. First uh, Corinthians 11 and uh, uh, 24. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, "Take eat. This is my body, which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me." Verse 25. After the same manner, he also took the cup which he had supped, saying, "This cup is the new testament in my blood." Do this, this do ye as oft as ye drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as ye eat this bread and drink this cup, ye do shew the Lord's death till he come. You know, and, we're, and, the, and eating this bread and drinking this cup is the Pesach, but it's also the, um, the partaking of the true knowledge uh, of the scriptures, you know. Uh, verse 27 wherefore whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the lord unworthily shall be guilty of the body and the blood of the lord you know <clears throat> but let a man examine himself and so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup for he that eateth and drinketh unworthily eateth and drinketh damnation to himself not discerning the lord's body for this cause many are weak and sickly among you and many sleep for if we would judge ourselves we should not be judged but when we are judged, we are chastened of the Lord that we should not be condemned with the world. So that is a that is a that is a something that we go through um, throughout while we're in this truth. 
You know, we may go off about something and the most high may put a stronger chastening on us to remind us or, or, or in order to, uh, uh, um, in order, like I said, we are chastened of the Lord and we should not be condemned with the world. You know, that is also a part of being in this truth because the scriptures tell you a just man follows seven times, but he get it back up again. So, you know, knowing that we also transgress from time to time, there are some whose transgressions are forgiven while they are partaking of this knowledge and truth. Uh, this knowledge, uh, uh, this body and blood of Yahweh Shai um, through the scriptures, because the scriptures tell you what the word was made flesh. These, this is literally eating this meal of the scriptures is literally eating the body and blood of Yahweh Shai. You see. So let's just get um, so lucky. So he went into Corinthians ten and four, and it was it's interesting, you know, just to kind of back up that this is a spiritual. Uh, spiritual thing uh, uh, as well, you know, as talking about the literal partaking in the Pesach, First uh, Corinthians chapter ten, um, in verse one. Moreover, brethren, I would not that ye should be ignorant how that all our fathers were under the cloud and passed through the sea, and were all baptized unto Moses in the cloud and in the sea, and did all eat the same spiritual meat. This these scriptures are spiritual meat. Verse four, and, and did all drink the same spiritual drink. Likewise, these scriptures are spiritual drink for they drink of that spiritual rock that followed them. And that rock was Hamashiach. But with many of them, the most high was not well pleased for they were overthrown in the wilderness. They turn, you know, they start turning into scoffers. Now, these things were our examples to the intent. We should not lust after evil things as they also lusted. They was murmuring. They wanted more than what was given them of, of the most high. And so they started murmuring and backbiting, you know, neither be idolaters, which, uh, as were some of them, as it is written, the people sat down to eat and drink and rose up to play. Uh, neither let us commit fornication uh, as some of them committed and, and fell in one day, three and 20,000. Neither let us tempt the anointed as some of them also tempted and were destroyed of serpents. Neither murmur ye as some of them also murmured and were destroyed of the destroyer. But I just wanted to get the point that, you know, there is also a, a spiritual meat and drink that are that is partaken of, not only around the time of the Pesach, but throughout your spiritual walk. You're eating and drinking, you know. And let's just get a, you know, and so I want to tie up this scripture, uh, Corinthians 11 and um see here in 27 wherefore whosoever shall eat of this bread and drink of this cup of the lord unworthily shall be guilty of the body and blood of the lord but let a man examine himself and so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup for he that eateth and drinketh unworthily eateth and drinketh damnation to himself not discerning the lord's body so part of that eating and, dr and drinking unworthily is um is getting into this thing not counting the costs you know, getting into this thing and, and, and letting go of the plow, you know, it says he that let go of the plow is what? He that I believe this is what that scripture says. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like it. Luke 9 and 26, and Yahweh Shai said unto him, No man having put his hand to the plow and looking back is fit for the kingdom of heaven, you know. And also the scriptures tell you to count, let every man count the cost, you know, for, before he goes into this thing. So, um, you know, like it says, you are guilty of the body and blood of the Lord. So let's let's read uh, Hebrews chapter 6, Hebrews chapter 6 and 4. For it is impossible for those who were once enlightened and have tasted of the heavenly gift, tasted of the heavenly gift, the understanding of the scriptures, to be able to preach and prophesy, and were made partakers of the Holy Spirit, and have tasted the good word of the Most High, and the powers of the world to come, if they shall fall away, to renew them again unto repentance, seeing they crucify to themselves the Son of the Most High afresh. So these people who were given the wisdom and knowledge, and, and, and fell away, and went back into the world, they can they are guilty of the blood and body of Yahweh Shai, much like those, and they are likened basically unto those who ate and drank unworthily. And they put him and put him to an open shame. You see? So that's you know, that was one of the points I want to get into. You know, and this is also backing it up, Luke twelve and forty seven. But and if that servant say in his heart, 
uh, my Lord delay of his coming and shall begin to beat the manservants and maidens and to eat and drink and be drunken, you know, eating and drinking and being drunken, eating and drinking without fear, getting drunk with different doctrines, you know, talk, cursing out the men of the Lord, becoming scoffers. The Lord of that servant will come in a day when he looketh not for him and at an hour when he is not aware and will cut him in sunder and will appoint him his portion with the unbelievers. And that servant which knew his Lord's will and prepared not himself, neither did according to his will shall be beaten with many stripes. So, you know, them, that's hey, that's just an example, you know. And then the brother brought this out, which I had brought, I had brought this out in another video, but I had to delete it because I had the wrong time uh, set up for when the Pesach was. So Jude 1 and 12. Um, These are spots in your feasts of charity when they feast with you feeding themselves without fear. Clouds they are without water, carried about of winds, which are doctrines. And what's that water? Hey, he that believeth on me, as the scriptures say, from his belly shall flow rivers of living waters, that knowledge and understanding. And they don't have it. That's why they're blowed, That's why people get blown around with different doctrines, because they don't have the water, which is the knowledge and the wisdom and understanding of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. If you have to remain humble, you know, and, and get the, and pray that the Most High, Hey, takes not his spirit off you. Even King David said, remove not thy spirit from me. Cast me not away from thy presence. You know, you have to be humble in this thing or the most high can take the understanding from you. Trees whose fruit withereth without fruit twice dead, plucked up by the roots, you know. And so I just kind of want to land back on that. You know, yes, now is a time to be very, uh, very circumspect, you know, to, um, to do this thing, to examine yourself before you do this thing, before you partake of the Passover. But brothers all, but brothers should already be walking with fear. The scriptures tell us that a wise man would do all things with fear, and those all things are concerning Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. You should look towards him with fear. You know, that he may bless and not hinder the path of your feet. You know, acknowledge him in all thy ways, and he shall direct thy paths. You know, so you want to be mindful of him. You want to have a terror of him, not necessarily of the things around you, but whether or not he will keep the hedge of protection around you or not. And you pray that you be found worthy to stay in that hedge of protection, you know. So, like I said, I just want to. Yes, this time is a very serious time where things manifest and things come to a head and many people fall out and become demons and have demons pop on them. And many are tested and tried and purified and all these things happen around the time of the Passover. But we should be walking with fear throughout this whole thing because anytime you partake of the scriptures, you are eating and drinking of the blood of Yahweh Shai, the word of Yahweh. Alright? Recall Halal Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai by Hashem Rakar Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Peace, love, and salutation to the hopefully elect. I pray this lesson was edifying. With that I say Shalom.